Hi, and welcome to another lesson in our series of SOLIDWORKS training tutorials. In this lesson, I'll continue the exercise on multi-body design techniques, and we'll be looking at the indent feature. So let's get into it. So the indent part includes two intersecting solid bodies. So you can see here in the solid bodies folder, we've got the target and the tool. The yellow part being the target and the red part being the tool, which is going to create our little indent. So firstly, we'll create a circular pattern using the tool part. So for the direction, we can choose any one of these edges. And there's three parts. So in the number of instances, we have three and it's a full 360 degrees and equal spacing. And then in the bodies, so if I select the solid bodies folder, we're going to select this body, the tool part. And we're going to click OK. And that creates my circular pattern. So if I spin around so you can see what that's actually produced on the far side. So now if I select the indent feature, the target body is this yellow part. And then the two body regions are going to be those three items there. The parameters then are going to be six millimeters and 1.25 millimeters. So that's the clearance and the thickness. Select OK on that. And we get this. Now, if I do a little section just to show you exactly what we have on that. You can see that's our clearance and our thickness. Now I'm going to isolate the component. This will allow me to get access to this so I can see this more clearly. So I'm going to do a fillet on this. So the fillet is two millimeters and the item of the fillet so I can just click this face and that will run all the way around because it's got tangent propagation turned on it'll just sweep around that and it'll do it on them all and if I apply that and click OK and I'm going to exit isolate now using the delete keep body feature so the bodies I want to delete are these items click OK and that's your complete Thanks again for watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe.